well, thanks very much. Thanks very much for coming tonight. This is the first live presentation that I've done, um, so please bear with me if there's any like technical hiccups, whatever. Um, using the hashtag MCR thread if you want to tweet about anything tonight. Um, at the end, I'll be doing like a Google form, so if there's anything that you think that I've missed or any suggestions you've got for like the next Manchester thread, that'd be cool if you could you know submit some feedback on that, and I'll give the link to that at the end. Also, on slides uh, will be available online as well. So, yeah, I'm Simon with Design on Twitter, and we've also got, um, we checked out the email that I sent, we've got uh, fredup.github.com, now up and running. If you want to get on the Wi Fi tonight, there's the, the Wi Fi address there for that. So, let's kick it off. So, uh, first of all, let's thank sponsors tonight. So, we've got Fred, which I'll be going on over about in a minute. Uh, we've got Lundle Tech Hub, so this is where you are now. So thanks a lot to Michelle, who's just introduced me then, and uh, Doug, who's the CEO. He's a really cool guy, so thanks for providing this space, and obviously beers and pizza, which is coming as well. Um, so we've got there's a few other sponsors as well. So yeah, there's the, the federal website. Uh, we've also got uh, Andrew Nesbitt, who owns this, I'm not sure. Um, those of you who are on GitHub, but for those of you who aren't, I'll be going over a bit of GitHub in a bit. So Andrew's at this brilliant website, and basically it was uh, up to the lead up Christmas, you could do, um, you could get some code, and basically submit code, and it would suggest, looking at the code that you've done, um, what bits are repositories that you can uh, help out with. So that was a really cool project, so thanks to Andrew. Um, also, uh, Dennis is one of the guys who runs uh, Fred in the uh, States. So uh, he's done this really cool website uh, which was featured on Smashing Magazine. So this is all to do with uh, basically a status plate for typography on the net. So definitely recommend you check that out. Um, also, he runs Grey Ghost Visuals. Um, Crossley is a place of copyright work with that absolute media. He did the logo design website design so thanks a lot to Wayne for that. Uh, we've got Chris in tonight who's recording it and if all goes well uh, this will be online as well so you'll be able to watch it again online. And a uh, massive fan of Chris Coyer. Uh, does anyone know Chris Coyer? Yeah. CSS Tricks? Yeah, great guy on the internet so really privileged today that he's, uh, he's sponsoring us from this new thing that he set up called CodePen. So if you're not familiar with that definitely go and check that out absolutely smashing. So thanks a lot to Chris. And yeah, I think that's all of our sponsors. So basically I'm going to split it up into three parts. So the first part is going to briefly explain, explain about Fred, what it is, why it's set it up, where I've set it up and where I want to sort of go with it. Uh, briefly go into the sort of things that I've, I've been up to, where I've started on the internet and web development and sort of where I am now. Then take a bit of a break, have a beer, and then the second part, I'm going to go over like, some of the tools that I use and some of the things that I find that help me with my workflow. Um, so, yeah. So, what is Fred? Um, so, it stands for Front End Developers. As far as we can tell, it's the first multi city meetup. So, the idea is that uh, I speak to the states and I was like, you know, uh, what do you sort of do? You know, like, this other guys in the states. And I said, well, actually, we've set this thing up in Buffalo called Fred. So it's like, why are you setting up? So it sounded great. So the idea is that we can all uh, collaborate and help each other out. We have like small PCs, small iMacs with straight screens. Whereas nowadays we've got like these massive 27 inch iMac screens to deal with. And there's all these different tablets and mobile devices. And there's just so many different devices and people like you the TVs on different consoles as well. So and obviously like what's, what's coming next. So there's just loads of different things uh, happening in lots of different areas. So I think if we all like collaborate and all help each other out and show each other like what we've been doing. And I'd love it if, at the end for people to like get back to me and say, oh you know that thing you did over there, you know, I, I do this this way. You know, I can I can say, oh that's that's really good, you know, and then check that out and then we can all, you know, learn together. So, you know, let, let's let's help each other out. Um, so what, what can you do? So basically, yeah, if people aren't familiar with Fred, you know, to, you know the front-end developers, just let them know that this is sort of kicking off and um, what it's all about. Again, send us feedback and 
like I mentioned then as well, and we're going into a bit, is uh, GitHub. So it's just such a great resource for social coding and seeing what everyone's been up to and helping each other out and learning. So yeah, if you want to talk as well, if there's uh, something that you find really useful that you think would be beneficial to everyone else, it'd be great if you could uh, just drop me an email or you know, go out for a beer as well. If you don't want to you know, get up and speak yourself, but you think something really cool, you, know, you can always meet or do a webcam chat or whatever, and uh, I can present that, so that'd be great. And also, if you're watching this like online and there's, uh, like, you, you, you're not really sure of any meetups that are in your area, then feel free to get in touch and we can help you get on set up. So that's, that's about Fred. So just briefly go into a bit about like where I'm up to and a bit about me. So my name is Simon Owen. It's not uh, Simon Owen Design. So when I was at college, I had all these crazy URLs and crazy email addresses and the tutors basically told me that look, if you're going to get a serious profession then you should get a URL and an email with your name on. So I went to register simonowing.com, someone had it. So I went to register simonowing.co.uk, someone had that as well. So I stuck the design at the end and it's pretty much just stuck with me ever since. So uh, it's just one of those things basically. So as well, uh, <laughs> yeah, Sam is not here tonight but before I came to the event, uh, he was like looking around and I was like, oh, is it Sam? He's like, yeah. He said, yeah. I said, hello, Simon. And he's like, oh, I thought you'd be older. So, yeah, let's just get it out of the way. I know I look young, so you don't need to tell me. And I do have an ID, just in case, which I get asked like all the time. Okay, so where did I start? Brief briefly, um, I started off at Salford University teaching like Photoshop and Illustrator and Flash. I then worked at JD Williams, which is big e-business, e-commerce uh, business that's just down the corner. With that, and then I went on to work at the Hot Group. Um, when I started there, there's like 50 employees, and then when I left just over a year ago, there's like over 800, so it really, really grew really, really quickly. They run websites like Zabby and thehub.com, so I learned absolutely loads there and had a great time. But again, like, it's quite a big e business team, so I wanted something just to basically the, the opposite end of the spectrum. So, where I work now. It's Absolute Media, so we work in a little chapel in Horwich, and there's basically a very small team there, we've got a dog as well. Um, late last year we did the Amir Khan website, so that's cool. We did, uh, we've got some nominations for that, so we got nominated for a Daddy Award, won a uh, highly commended for an MI Award in Manchester, and we've got various nominations for like sites of the day and things like that, so that's cool considering the amount of time we had to do that, and it's just me, another developer, two designers, and Sammy the Dog helps us out with that, so that's a bit about me. So now I'm just going to go into a bit about like where I sort of started on the internet and uh, where I'm up to now. So my first website, um, I didn't actually save it myself, but if you're familiar with the Wayback Machine Internet Archive, fortunately in 2004-2005 it deemed it awesome and important to save, so I managed to get it resurrected. So, this is it. Um, unfortunately, it didn't save the, the Sky GIF background, but um, it's got some cool stuff on there, like we've got, got time and date there, um, we've got MP3 search, you know, it's MP3 searching, MIDI files, we've got to have MIDI files on there. Winamp, is anyone familiar with Winamp? It's an absolutely brilliant piece of software for, on the PC for watching videos and MP3s and stuff like that. So did Winamp skins on that, and of course you've got search engine on it. I don't know if you can see that, but you've got all the best search engines down there, like Yahoo, Alta Vista, Webform. <laughs> so that's that's where I started, and uh, it got a bit better than that because I found out how to do button graphics. So, <laughs> but yeah, <coughs> they're just awesome. And then, shut that out. <laughs> but it gets better than that because not only is that just an awesome flame graphic, but it's, it's an animated GIF, so just let you take that in for a second. <laughs> so, when did you start again? This was in 2005, so 2004. So, yeah, I mean, awesome, right? <laughs> um, so, searching was great fun. So, uh, when I first started, uh, Google wasn't around. So I used to use this, Alta Vista, and there's Lycos as well, and Yahoo uh, about, and then Ask Jeeves sort of came on the scene, 
as well. And you, one of my frustrations is that you type in things like that. Can you read that? See that? So my frustration is that when I first started, I didn't really know what, what I was looking for. And if I did, then this, the search results were just, I just didn't know where to look and I just found it very frustrating. And also going back to my first website, I built it in like a, I think it's called Web Studio. And it's really like just a drag and drop interface. And you had your details for FTP by GeoCities, which also did for free. Obviously with all those nice big adverts all over the show. So I didn't actually see the code or know of its, the code's existence really. It's just a drag and drop interface. I thought, right, that's cool, get that flame gif in there. And then you just click the publish button and it just sent it to the internet. So uh, I, I didn't really know what I was looking for when I first started. I just knew that I, I really like this and the, the idea that you know I can get something up on the web and everyone can see it. And, you know, just communicating with everyone. So, um, yeah, I've got a little sound here to play, hopefully. Let's see if sure we can hear this. People remember that, yeah? So, for those of you uh, that are new, new to the web, that's not like a new school X tune or anything like that. <laughs> but this was actually the 56k modem sound. So, what you do is you have dial up internet and you get this sound, and that sound would be just bliss, It'd be like right, connects into the internet. It's great. So, that was a pain point as well. Uh, that mouse over there. I'm sure you're all familiar with this. So again, at the time, I had 95% global market share, and it pretty much just was the internet. People didn't see, you know, like just different browsers. The internet was IE. So uh, yeah, the internet as well was full of like these really really cool people. So you probably know this guy here, and then there was this cool guy as well, and. That super cool guy there. So, yeah, when you was looking for the, for people on the internet, like now you've just got all these different people, but then the, I think there's just this sense of you know like being a geek when you was on the internet, and you know like it just I don't know. I, I just find it hard finding people that share the same sort of things that I wanted to get out of it. And so, fortunately, things have got better now. So obviously Google, and you know got these millions of results really, really quick. So that's awesome. We've got all these amazing tools that we can use. So uh, Sublime Text 2 and GitHub. I'll be going over those if you're not familiar with them, but absolutely fantastic tools we can use. Uh, we've got all these amazing browsers now that we can use as well. So we've got Chrome, Firefox. There's like Opera, Safari as well, which is just absolutely fantastic. And I is now down to 30% global market share. Um, and yeah, now, like I mentioned, we've just got all these awesome people, so there's just too many people to name nowadays that are contributing on the internet and doing like, all these awesome things. So again, like, my slides will be available afterwards, and, and I recommend checking out some of the people I follow. I find it really helpful to just um, be active on Twitter and follow people on Twitter. I just think it's amazing for all the different things you can find out. Now, for those of you that are new to web development, and those of you who've been into it for, for years and years and years, I thought I'd put this tweet out. So I'll just let you read that. Can you read that back, okay? Yeah. So, does anyone know Nicholas Gallagher? Anyone follow him? Cool. So, uh, I think it's really cool. Uh, those of you that don't know Nicholas Gallagher, he contributes to the HTML5 boilerplate a lot on uh, GitHub. I think he works for Twitter now in the States. Um, so I think it's really cool that he put this up because uh, you know, he's saying, you know, even if you are new to front web, web development, I mean, I can't imagine now coming to front end web development because there's just so much to learn, you know, and where and when and if do you start. So because there's all this technology going on, everyone's pretty much at the same point because no one's really used it before. So everyone's sort of learning as, as we go along. So I've got a, a quote here, you're familiar with that quote. So I've sort of turned this towards my web development and done my own sort of quote based on that quote. <laughs> so 
So yeah, the idea about this is that, again, when I first started off doing web development, you could find a bit of code on the internet, and you could take that code and you could sort of pack it together, you could sort of get what you wanted it to do, but you didn't necessarily know what it was doing or why it was doing that. So in the second part, um, basically what I'm going to try and do is go over some of the tools and some of the ways that I sort of try and keep on top of everything at the minute. And uh, rather than just throwing some code at you and saying, if you copy and paste this code, it will do this, ways that you can go and find out for yourself how to go and uh, yeah, hack about with code yourself and try different things out. So I think that's everything for part one. If you'd like to go and just have a break, or break for 10 minutes, grab another beer or whatever. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave my own ones again. I'll leave my own ones again.